Boys and girls of Stoneworks! In today's video, we will be highlighting one of the workshop's most popular add-ons, the KB-1 Gemini. This small tugboat was created by Crail. You can find his creation in the workshop or in a link provided in the video description below. Crail put in the description, The Gemini is a multi-role tug that uses prototype drive-by wire water jet propulsion system which provides stabilization and allows the pilot to maneuver at set speeds in any direction as well as accurate autopilot station keeping controls. Some quick stats on Crail. Crail's tug are one diesel engine with a direct drive 4x times water jet. The tug has a fuel capacity of 12,000 liters and a top speed of 40 knots. Crail does state some known issues, but they're kind of minor out of his control. The known issues are water jet BFX may fill the lower deck underway, making it difficult to see. The roll pitch stabilization is not perfect. It may oscillate under certain conditions. The only time I've actually kind of noticed that is when I'm towing something and they're in heavy power. And of course, leaving the rear axis hatch open that is close to the water line will allow water in and eventually will probably sink the boat if it doesn't have a bilge bump. Let's get a closer look. Crail did an amazing job with detailing the inside and outside with just the right amount. Some add-ons seem to go a little overboard and clutter it up way too much. Starting at the top of the tug, Crail added a lifeboat and some railings so the crew doesn't end up in a drink while trying to retrieve a line from the larger ship. Uh -oh -oh. On the main deck, the bow section of the ship, a spotlight has been added for nighttime operations along with a deck light for the crew. Moving to the stern or the back of the ship, we have another spotlight, some more deck lights to make nighttime operations easier for the crew. In the center of the tug, we have a large towing winch to tackle toughest of the jobs. Next, if we head to the bottom deck, your first stop you will find the fire station in case a fire breaks out, a galley, an electrical panel, and a head. The crew can grab a bite to eat, take a shower, or do the dirty biz. Beyond this panel, you will find a lighted, detailed, compact engine room that you can easily move about with a rear hatch for outside access. Still on the bottom deck, moving to the bow of the ship or the front of the ship, we will find the crew quarters with two bunks and a place for their belongings. In a case of emergency, you can turn the key which will pop the hatch for easy escape. Okay, let's look at how to make this thing move. In the pilot house of the tugboat, Crail says in the description, engines can be toggled from the rightmost panel, throttle and starter is automated, the levers on the left panel control the maximum maneuver speed while the cruise throttle allows you to set constant forward speed. The right helm panel controls the autopilot which acts as the station keeping within 5 meters of the destination. Solid green indicator light means autopilot is underway. Flashing indicator light means the destination is reached and station keeping is alive. Well gang, that's all I got for today. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you want to check out Crail's awesome creation, you can find a link to his add-on in the video description. Hey, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And join our Discord community by clicking on the link found in the description. I'll see you in the next video.